Okay, so I'm here with Tanya Wexler, who's the director of, tell us the name of the movie. Hysteria, hi. Hysteria, what a great name for a movie. And it is about the history of the vibrator, but it's a romantic comedy, as Tanya will tell us all about. Yes. But first let's go with, like, why did you want to make a movie about vibrators? It really is about vibrators. It is. It's about the invention of the vibrator in Victorian England, and I just thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard, so I had to make the film. Well, okay, and it stars Hugh Dancy, who plays the doctor who invents this thing as a as a an attempt to get relief, actually not for women, right, who were suffering from hysteria, who he's treating, but more for himself because he's doing this manual manipulation uh, that is very time consuming and gives him hamstring. Yes. All right. So, <laughs> first of all, I gotta ask you, how did Hugh Dancy like? How did those scenes go when you were shooting them? Because they're pretty, they're pretty. Deadpan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yes, headline, the vibrator was invented for a man. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Um, Hugh is fantastic. He's got this amazing uh, comic timing, and he kind of almost Chaplin-esque in certain ways, very precise, very funny. And uh, when we film the scene where he kind of really discovers almost the vibrator because it's uh, he's really using it on his hand, which is kind of carpal tunnel syndrome. Right. Uh, from pleasuring women all day. Yes, basically. exactly, exactly. Pleasuring Victorian, uh, Victorian women with hysteria, with hysteria, um, which is a real, which was a real condition, right? For right. So there was this kind of catch-all diagnosis of hysteria, which seemed to be anything that really meant anything that was the condition of being a woman was termed hysteria. You were too happy, you were too sad, you liked sex too much, you didn't like sex enough, you hated your husband, you loved your husband, whatever it was you could have been diagnosed with hysteria and there were some pretty severe treatments but one of the more fun treatments uh, was manual massage to paroxysm as they called it and Hugh was one of those doctors or plays where he wasn't but he paroxysm plays. is like is the okay medical term for orgasm really paroxysm right? is the term for we are uh, male medical doctors in the 1880s and so we didn't know that women had orgasms so we Do you think that's paroxysm. true? I think a lot of uh, a lot of them yeah thought that orgasm and ejaculation were the same thing, exactly. And so since uh -huh. women didn't ejaculate, they couldn't have orgasms. So they had muscle spasms, which, yeah. which isn't that far off. I was going to say, it's pretty good muscle spasm. Right. And uh, <laughs> so Hugh plays this character whose job it is to uh, basically do this therapeutic massage. And he gets carpal tunnel syndrome. And so he really needs to um, save his job. Mm -hmm. And so he has a friend who's obsessed with this new technology called electricity. And uh, one day when he's moaning about, you know, potentially losing his job and his hand kind of failing him, so to speak, because he can't, you know, whatever the hand version of can't get it up anymore is. And he, uh, he discovers through the miracles of an ele electric feather duster that vibration really helps, helps his your muscles. muscles. Yeah. And that, so that is close to how the vibrator came to be because it began as a muscle relaxer? Yeah, it began early... as like a kind of, like the kind you'd get at a Brookstone or something for your back or something like mm -hmm. that. And then, of course, <laughs> you invent, you kind of harness the power of electricity, close on the heels, you invent the vibrator. It's pretty right. natural Need, connection. Right? And, and uh, necessity, necessity is the necessity. mother of invention. Exactly. 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 So, and Maggie Gyllenhaal has this great part as this kind of woman on the cusp of... Uh, modernity. Yeah, modern, she's, modernity, Maggie Gyllenhaal right. plays this firebrand kind of uh, Catherine Hepburn style character, the truth teller, the bomb thrower. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She's really the person who just embodies like... Well, she's Passion kind of the, truth. Yes, and she's the antidote to this notion of these women who are being treated for hysteria really because they're repressed mm -hmm. socially, they're repressed sexually. Um, I mean, so this, it's it's a rather political film, right? It's not, you're not hiding that. that yeah, I mean, we kind of call it the thinking woman's romantic comedy. So we think that it's fun and entertaining, but it has a little more to say. Right. And so um, I did ask you before, you're, you're, you're a fan of vibrators yourself. You th you're, th you're, you're pro. <laughs> I'm pro. You're pro. And you did this great thing, which is apparently you bought everyone on the set a vibrator. Yes, I got every every cast and crew member um, a little bullet vibrator. Um, so my, they weren't too expensive because it did come out of my pocket. And, uh, and I just wanted everyone to say, like, welcome to the film. And yes, we're making the vibrator movie in case you were wondering. Yes, we are. We really are. And so one of the one of the guys on the crew... What? Oh, you know, I gave them to the men, women, everybody, and one of the guys on the crew was like, oh, you know, I don't want, I don't want the competition. And one of the other... It wasn't a woman. One of the other guys on the crew said, oh, don't think of it as your competition. It's a member of your team. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> That's my kind of guy. So we were very pleased with that. Fabulous. Tanya Wexler, thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with your film.